Good morning, everyone. Today we're going to be doing something shockingly unusual for this channel. We're going to be milling up these logs into lumber and some timbers. Who would have thunk it? And I'll talk about and maybe demonstrate why I don't use blade lube most of the time on my wood miser mill. These are the logs from the previous video that I said I would put aside until I figured out what I wanted to do with them. I still don't know what I want to do with them, so out of habit, I'm just going to mill them up. When I start getting buildup on the blade, I'll put some lube on for at least one cut just to clean the blade off. If I can, I prefer to do that when I make the cap cut. We'll make this cut and I'll show you why. When I don't use blade lube, the sawdust is really powdery and it just brushes right off. But when I use lube, you get all these gummy spots that are hard or a lot harder to sweep off. If I have a scraper, that would help, but then I'd have to scrape them, then sweep them. This piece actually wasn't too bad. Of course, it's going to do that when I'm demonstrating. But when I need to put some lube on to clean the blade, I like to use this first cap cut because that piece gets thrown away anyway. This is dry bug kill dug fur. With that, it doesn't create as much of a mess. With green dug fur, that's when it makes a real gummy mess that's hard to sweep or scrape off. But with green dug fur, I think the natural moisture in the wood helps lubricate it. With this dead material, I do use lube more because I get more buildup because I think there's more pitch to water content in this dead stuff. We'll do a couple more layers with lube and we'll see what those look like. That part just doesn't sweep off very well. I did go a little extra heavy on the lube just to demonstrate on this one because this log isn't gumming up the way a lot of them do. My guess is the difference might be the pitch and water content between different logs. On the top cut, I used lube. I went light on this end and heavier over here. This gummy mess, it just you have to sweep it harder to get it off. It's not a big deal, but it just takes longer. This part without lube, it just falls off. Cleanup is so much quicker when I don't use blade lube. Look at that. Sawdust just falls right off. With this one, we use lube, 
Got a mess to clean up. Not a big deal, but it just takes extra time. I haven't used any lube on this log, but now we have a little bit of a situation. We have a healed over scar on this side. A lot of times the wood underneath there will be just fine, but sometimes there'll be some big pitch pockets underneath the scar. When there's something like this, that's when I will use some lube. The reason is I've had a few scars where the pitch underneath was so bad, it would build up on the blade to the point where it would start diving. And when that happens, bad things happen. When there's an indicator like this of possible bad things happening, I think it's worth putting on a little lube and having to clean up a little bit of a mess. Rather than having to deal with the possibility of bad things happening. If I think it might be pitchy, I put a lot of lube on the blade. Which in this case, it was a false alarm. But now we got a mess to clean up. Got a little bit of scar right here, but not too bad. This one has a big pitchy spot in it. I wasn't paying attention and I didn't turn on the lube. This is the kind of buildup we get from those kind of spots. On the rare times I get this much buildup on the blade, I'll pour the water on for just a few seconds. When it gets wet, it comes off easily once I start making the cut. Then I turn it back down to just a drip as it goes through the cut. I'm starting my cut so deep on this one because this one's been dead for a while. It has bug holes and some light degradation in the outer sapwood. Those wide outer cuts will make better firewood and we'll just high grade the good stuff out of the middle. This dry bug kill dug fur cuts so slow. And I don't notice any difference in cutting speed if I have lube on the blade or if I don't. On this log, I'm not using any. With incense cedar, I rarely have to use blade lube. With ponderosa pine, I do have to use it more. If the pine is fresh cut and green, I can get away without using lube a lot of the time. 
but sometimes when I get into the heartwood, I start getting too much buildup and have to use lube. With bug killed pine, I almost always have to use lube. With bug kill, the pitch content is too high and I have to use lube or it'll build up on the blade too much. On that last big sugar pine we cut up, I had to use lube the whole time on that one. We got those logs taken care of and we piled our trailer up even higher to put more weight on the lumber experiment from the video earlier this week. Another time when I do use blade lube is when I'm doing really wide cuts. Because on those, I want to try to give the mill every advantage I can. But most of the time, I'm just cutting small diameter dug fir. And with that, I just don't notice enough of a difference to justify cleaning up the mess. My blades don't get hot. I think I get good life out of them. As long as I'm not getting too much buildup on the blade, I just don't find a reason to use it most of the time. For blade lube, I just use water and Dawn dish detergent. I know some people use pine salt, some use diesel but the mixture I use does everything I need it to. Now keep in mind, this is my situation. I'm not saying you shouldn't use blade lube. Your situation might be different than mine. In your situation, using blade lube might make all the difference. That's obvious to most people, but I find there's a lot of people who just aren't okay with other people having a different experience with something than they do. But most of them are over on YouTube shorts. I don't know why I'm pointing over there for shorts. I guess shorts are over there. I find on the long videos, most people are reasonable. I think the best way to find out what works for you is to try it. Try with, try without. Do the experiment. But that's not just for sawmills. I think that's for life in general. Live life like an experiment. Try things. If it's not immoral, if the consequences aren't too high, try different things. I think that can be the difference between living a life you think you're supposed to live and living the life you want to live. Okay, we're getting a little off subject here. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video.